But yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Dennis uh, is the guy, I guess. Okay, so um, yeah, let's have uh, let's have fun. So first, I'd like to have some uh, some music here. No work without music. All right. So gone and away. Feature list. What are we going to build, guys? A skyhawk, the skyhawk of our dreams, at least of my dreams. What would I like to see? Well. First off, and I'm comparison this with the already existing 172s out there, um, by A2A also, but also uh, the default 172, and also um, the uh, Airfill Labs one. One main thing that I would like to see is the proper dimensions of the actual 172 Skyhawk cockpit. Uh, for example, with the Airfall Labs, the dimensions don't are, are not right. Uh, it looks like a deformed kind of cockpit. I mean, you can recognize it's a 172, but it's not exact. Uh, at least not from my experience sitting in an actual 172. Um, and also with the default um, X explain um, uh, 172, the the dashboard, the black dashboard thing, uh, is much too extended in such a way that I'm unable to see the annunciator panel when I'm sitting like I should be in the cockpit. So there are, I guess it's not, the only thing that's for A2A for example, that 172 really looks great. Um, at least I didn't notice any differences when I was sitting in that real world 172. Um, so that's really important to me. I'd like to really try to get the dimensions right in the cockpit. So um, that's the first one, great dimensions, cockpits. For example, the dashboard or how, whatever you call it, um, but also the instruments layout. Um, okay, what else? Well, cabin windows. Uh, interactive and I'd like to have a lot more interaction points well you might think well what's the point of okay it's a fun gimmick that you can open your window but I'd like to actually provide sim coders with interactions that they can use and include in their rep to for example make the um, the windshield fog up and that kind of stuff that A2A and all of the others are doing air Labs as well um, so cabin windows interactive um, also the cabin heat um, what's the other one uh, we've got cabin heat we could also got cabin air uh, ELT yeah, so it's the full we can list all of the different individual components here which might be make the list quite extensive but just to have a sense of what I'm up to um, let's see, interactive, uh, slant alpha radio stack at li initially. And again, I don't know whether I need to actually build and develop those radio stacks from scratch as well. Perhaps there are some already pre-developed pre -developed radio stacks that you can just put into our existing model because X-Plane already has those. Um, I don't know. Anyways, a slant alpha radio stack. Um, I'd like to have the just the basic primary instruments layout. So I don't want an a a HSI. Just a basic student pilot Skyhawk. Um, Original heading indicator, not the HSI. Although, uh, what I also really like about the A2A version is that you can just grab a window and just change the cockpit on the go. And you can change from an ordinary HI to a HSI. Um, Jeff, do you still fly on GTA? No, I don't. Perhaps uh, with GTA 8 or so, when flying becomes a little bit more realistic. but. 
Um, now with X-Plane and Flight Simulation here, uh, it's so much fun uh, and provides so much more realism than uh, GTA, but I'm really looking forward to the developments of G GTA though. Um, original HI, yes. Um, what I also like is pilots, pilot models in the cockpit. Um, and dependent on payload. So if you load up, um, put some weight in the co-pilot seat, once you reach a particular number of pounds, suddenly it should be a pilot model, a pilot sitting next to you or a friend or something like that. The same I would like to see with baggage. Uh, shoot case model baggage double G okay baggage compartments <laughs> Jeff great yeah I remember mine GTA videos as well that's where it all started well I was I was already familiar with flight simulation a long time ago but um, that's GTA re-sparked my interest in flight simulation uh, back in the day. Um, suitcase model, yeah. Um, oh yeah, control wheel lock. And again, these are things that are already existing, so I'm not listing any features here that I think are are universally missing in Skyhawk versions. I'm just making a list of the most main things that I'd like to build in my own in my own Skyhawk. And again, I just need to make the airframe first. Uh, these are things that will be something that I will consider only very late in the project or much later in the project. But it's nice to already have some kind of a vision that's really inspiring and stimulating. So that's why I'm working on this um, list right now. What Mac are you using? Uh, this is an iMac, and I have no idea about this Mac. That's what I'm using. Um, control wheel lock. Um, yes. What else, guys? What else do we need? Um, what I also like, and these are... What I also really like to make which perhaps is going to be a little bit more challenging although i have seen that playmaker can do that i'd like to also be able to have loose loose baggage in the cabin so when you are turning perhaps as part of an emergency or so that the baggage can tumble around the cabin and it can actually be quite annoying uh, which also can happen in real world. So that's why it's so important that you secure your baggage. So I'd like to also incorporate a scenario where you put in baggage or a suitcase in the baggage compartment, but you forget to secure it. And if you and if you do, things be, get loose and you hear rattling and stuff in the cockpit. I think that's that's interesting and relevant. Suitcase uh, um Also secure option. Um, so, let's see, loose baggage in cabin, emergency. Are you making a game? No, I'm not making a game, Jeff. I'm I'm flying an X-Plane, which is a proper flight simulation package, um, just commercially available for anyone. And I've been flying for three, two years or so, uh, really learning a lot. So just hop over to uncertifiedpilot.com and you can see what my project is all about. And in parallel to my flight training, I also love to learn how to build my own aircraft for X-Plane in the flight sim using all kind of 3D modeling and Photoshop. And that's what I'm working right now, what I'm working on right now. And this is just the very first episode. So um, 
just making a list here of features. Control your lock, obviously. What else are cockpit things that we like to see? Well, obviously lights, flashlights already built in and explain. Yeah, what I also like to see, perhaps we can make a distinction here between um, cockpit and external. What I also think might be cool and should work is I would also love to see ice. Icing on window edges. I mean, you can create that not only in Photoshop texture like, but actually 3D, 3D icing. Um, yeah, the raindrop kind of thing. I'm hoping that x is gonna implement the raindrop effect like FS World is doing, uh, but let's just put it in uh, raindrop animation. I mean, Airflow Labs is also also provides that animation already. Um, so perhaps we can build our own as well. I mean, this is, and again, this is, I'm not saying that this is going to be easy, but I know it's possible. And uh, just with some clarity of mind, it just takes time and you, you we can make that stuff. I really want to get into flying, but I don't know what equipment a beginner needs. Well, Jeff, just have to take a look at my YouTube channel. Uh, my first episode, I'm explaining what equipment I'm using. And um, that might be a good start. Um, Rainer's generation. Um, yeah. Um, well, all of that, those chocks and stuff, wheel chocks and the pitot tube cover is actually something that SIM coders already provides. But let's just put those here anyway pedo tube cover wheel chocks engine cover um, tie downs oh yeah what I also like to yeah but that's that's perhaps different stuff um, I would love to have a physical walk around feature So that you like with the airfoil labs that you can actually step out of the cabin in X-Plane and walk around like you were actually walking around and not go through all of the different windows. And it's it's a little bit of a gimmick because it doesn't provide any educational value at all. It's just it, it is just I guess an argument for, for immersion or so. Um but I did like it. I'm just gonna put it there. I mean we're we are the engineers, right? We are the architects. A physical walk around. Or perhaps this has no, this has nothing to do with most likely has nothing to do with playing playmaker and blender this is more like a python kind of thing a plugin that needs to be developed uh, but perhaps we can tickle sim coders to create uh, create such a thing um but uh, also um uh, three um yeah, these are animations actually uh, i'd like to also be able to remove my fuel cap 